I needed some liquid in my body today since I just finished a very intense run. You might not have met me yet, but I'm Professor Pipette, scientist extraordinaire. I love science, but I also love having friends to share it with. Let's get ready to have fun with science. Luckily, we needed this bottle for the next science experiment. Although this bottle may look empty, it's actually full of matter. If you aren't quite sure what that is, it's okay. Today we'll be learning about matter. Everything that we can see and touch in life is called matter. Matter exists in the form of solid, liquid, or gas. Liquids can flow and take the shape of the container in which they are placed. Solids have a definite shape, mass, and volume. Gas does not always weigh the same or take up the same amount of space. However, like a liquid, a gas will always take the shape of its container no matter the size or shape of that container. All matter is made of extremely tiny particles called atoms and molecules. Atoms are so small that people can't see them with their eyes. In order for us to understand more about them today, we are going to be using a bottle, a hammer, a balloon, a nail, and a piece of wood. First, we're going to use the model of a solid metal hammer and a nail to discuss the particles in a solid. Solid hard materials are made of atoms that are very attracted to each other. This means they hold on very tight. The molecules and atoms are so close together, they don't really move. Now, let's check out the plastic bottle. If the bottle has no liquid in it, is it completely empty? It might appear empty, but the bottle is not. It has air in it. Air is made up of different gases like oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide that we breathe every day. Gas is made up of extremely tiny particles. Gas is very different from a solid. We can actually observe the air inside by using a balloon. When the bottle is squeezed, the gas molecules are forced from the bottle into the balloon. In a gas, the molecules and atoms pictured are moving very freely far away from each other. The particles of a gas are not very attracted to one another and just hit each other and bounce off. The particles are also much farther apart than they are in a solid. The particles of a liquid are attracted much more than the particles of a gas, and they are much closer together. They're almost as close together as a solid, but they can slide past each other. They are so close together that they are very difficult to squeeze. This is why I can't squeeze the bottle like I could before when it was only filled with gas. So, now we know more about the three different forms of matter, solid, gas, and liquid. All of these forms are made from tiny particles called atoms and molecules. Although we were able to use models to make observations, the actual size of atoms and molecules are incredibly tiny, trillions of times smaller than the dots or spheres we use to represent them. In fact, atoms and molecules are so small that millions of them would fit in the space of a single period at the end of the sentence. Whew. After that run and all of these experiments, I sure am worn out. I think I'm going to drink more liquid and get in my soft but solid bed. Have a great night, science experts, and see you next time.